how we uh, would risk stratify our how we will risk stratify our patients with acute myocardial infarction one is that on the ecg ecg itself uh, itself uh, tells us about the risk study if the patient has extensive mi anterior wall mi like what if the uh, if one avl and v2 to v3 is involved with fascicular block the mortality is the mortality is one one mortality is 20% and 30 like one month 30 day mortality in the one year mortality is one year mortality is 25% if the patient is coming with extensive anterior mi one avl v1 to v3 and like these leads would be involved as you know that the which leads are actually involved in uh, extensive anterior mi with the fascicular block then the mortality on one month is 20 percent and on one year is like 25 percent and if the patient has extensive like one avl plus v2 to v3 is involved then without fascicular block then the mortality is then the mortality is 10 percent 30 days and 20 percent one year so look at this that the ecg itself and the data itself tells us about the risk stratification of the patient so if the patient is coming with extensive anterior wall mi with the fascicular block obviously you need to rush hurry like you need to uh, <coughs> hurry and you need to think about that patient you cannot leave that patient uh, any how okay uh, obviously, you cannot leave the, any ST division MI even the patient is coming with inferior MI, but you need, but you should have uh, like uh, awareness about the risk distribution that if you are, if you have the two or three patients at once with inferior MI, extensive anterior MI and the lateral MI, then you should be well aware about that which patient should uh, like uh, deserve to be reperfused first, okay. So uh, these are the mortalities, the extensive anterior MI and the uh, anterior wall MI. What would be the other ones uh, like lateral wall MI, inferior wall MI? These all almost have uh, other other MIs like almost have 10 percent on the 30 day mortality and uh, uh, sorry, 5 to 10 percent on the 30 day mortality and uh, 10 to 12 percent on one month, uh, one year mortality. Other other risk stratifications we have. Okay, we have forgotten one thing. Like we will, uh, we will discuss it later on. That is Garboza criteria. Uh, like if the patient is coming with the LVV, so we will discuss later on. Uh, first, uh, let me uh, uh, discuss this risk stratification. Other risk stratification you have is the TME score, and the TME score in the stimulation MI doesn't tell us about the, like the uh, therapeutic options, but it tells us the prognosis. If the patient has a poor TME score, like the higher TME score, then the obviously patient has a poor prognosis. So it would be very easier for you guys to uh, uh, counsel your patient and the patient's attendant about the mortality and the risk of the procedure and the risk of that MI and the risk on which the patient is actually <coughs> coming in the ER. So what are the, uh, what is the TME? with STEMI, TIMI with STEMI. First we have what? History. On history we have age. If age is <coughs> excuse me more than 75 then two points. Sorry three points. And if age is 65 to 74 years then two points okay and other than the patient if if, if, the, if the patient is diabetes hypertension or any other risk factor then one point so three two and one on the history on history we have three things <coughs> excuse me age more than 75 you will get three points you will give the three points of the patient 
and if the age, if the patient's age is 65 to 74 years then you will give the two points and if the patient has a history of the diabetes and the hypertension then you will give the one point and then physical examination physical exam on physical exam if the heart rate is more than 100 then you will give what then you will give two points if the BP is less than 100 then you will give three points and if the patient has worse clip class clip class like three to four then you will give one point okay so now we have we have done the two things history and the physical examination if you on the physical examination patient has a heart rate of more than 100 then you will give the two points and the and the if the physical only physical examination the heart rate is less than three then you will give the three points and the clip class is uh, <coughs> sorry if the uh, clip class is worse like uh, three to four then you will give the one point and uh, presentation now now the presentation we have three things in the STEMI three physical examination and the presentation if the anterior ST or the LBB then or LBB then you will give one point and if the there, uh, there is time to treatment is more than four hours then one point and if the uh, so uh, we have only two two things on the presentation that on uh, if the if the patient is presenting with NPOL MI or the new onset LBB or the LBB MI is one point and if the patient is coming late after it's it's not late actually if it if he or she is coming after four hours then you will give the one point. So what actually uh, Timmy uh, tells us? So Timmy tells us that if 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 the score is more than nine, then the mortality is more than thirty five percent. If the Timmy is more than nine, then the Timmy uh, then the mortality is more than thirty five. But if the Timmy score is zero to one, then the mortality is is almost less than two percent. So if the <clears throat> any patient who is coming actually more than the nine nine points then you will counsel him according to this mortality and if the patient is coming zero to one in with the score of zero to one then you will obviously uh, tell uh, them uh, 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 the mortality accordingly other very easy risk stratification uh, our, uh, we have is clip clip class clip class is very easier obviously one two Sorry, two and four. So if one is is like one no evidence, if the patient has MI with the no congestive heart failure, with no congestive heart failure, then patient is in one. But if the patient has rails as three, then it's two. with no frank edema with no frank edema if the patient is with frank edema frank pulmonary edema or flesh pulmonary edema it's class 3 <coughs> but this patient would have blood pressure more than 100 that that patient would not be in cardiogenic shock but the, if the patient is in cardiogenic shock cardiogenic shock then it is class 4 It is important that if the patient is in cardiogenic shock, irrespective of that the patient has developed the signs of this heart failure or not, then again this patient with the MI plus cardiogenic shock will come into this category, will not come into this category. So what is the mortalities? Now look at the mortalities, which are actually very important. Only 5% mortality is with class 1 if the patient has no signs of the heart failure and the blood pressure is more than 100. And the mortality is almost 14%. Like it would get double if the patient has RELS or S3 gallop. Okay. And if the patient has a pulmonary edema, then the mortality is 32%. And if the patient is cardiac shock, then the mortality is 57%. So look at look at the numbers and look at the signs. So if the patient has these signs, then you have the, these numbers. You need to consult your patients according to these numbers. Okay. Now we have one more score is Grace score, which is actually common score in all acute coronary syndrome, either in non-escalation MI, escalation MI, or in angina. 
and uh, there are the few additional things in the grace score uh, and grace actually tells us about what grace actually tells us about the uh, six months post hospital discharge and in hospital uh, mortality so it is a bit difficult uh, score and you cannot calculate it uh, on it uh, on the bad side so you need to calculate it on the merit scale like on the app anything like on the app uh, but there are the additional few things on the grace score which actually tells us the more thing like uh, uh, serum creatin is there and uh, like a few uh, like the collapse on, uh, on the presentation in the ER CPR was done on the uh, is is done on 